Hey there guys, Divas Wolf here, and welcome to a brand new video. So you may be asking, Divas, why the glasses, why the hat? Well of course I thought I would sp spice up my channel, swag it up a bit. So welcome to the swag Divas. Anyways, enough of that, I'm sure you're here to see the topic of today's video. And the topic of today's video is... Furry Conventions. Yes, today's video is going to be all about furry conventions. What happens at furry conventions? Well, other than crazy shit that's happened over the last couple of years, mainly to bigger cons like MFF and, uh, well, Amphrocon, I believe. Some of the main things that happen in, you know, general furry conventions would be, obviously, the fursuiting, which is a fairly big part of the con. Not the entirety, but it's fair. Um, it's a fair percentage of the con. It'll be about the fur suiting, because well, furries love fur suits, so you yeah, know. Now, if you don't know what a furry convention is, one, has a rocket been living, living under the, for, for like the last I don't know 30, 40, 50 years, and two, furry conventions are a bit like Comic Con. You know, they're like a place where you know fellow furries and fellow fur fags like myself go to basically congregate, you know, co uh, like every year or so, depending on how many con con you go to, because there's like fucking thousands of them, uh, basically, it's where all the furries, you know, socialize and, you know, do stuff, you know, just like a Comic Con where all the, uh, as they call them, nerds go to, well, nerd about. <laughs> so obviously there are two main differences, obviously, between for conventions and Comic Con. The main difference in, the difference is being that Comic Con is orientated for a wider audience of so many different people, whereas furry conventions are obviously more for the people, you know, uh, with the interest in anthropomorphic animals or furries in general. So that can that can have a fair range just just in that. But you know, it's more closed because Comic Con is, you know, available to a wide audience. Another thing is art. Now I know both these types of cons have that in abundance. But the difference between Comic Con is that furry art is a bit more available to furries because most artists don't charge all that much for um, commissions, which is great because if you want to commission an artist outside of the furry fandom, it can be quite hard to find anybody. And I, th I think that's one of the main reasons I love being a furry, really, because it's easy to find an artist to do some art, you know? As well as literature, which I know Comic-Con obviously also has in abundance, but as I say, it's more available to, you know, furries in general. Next thing is activities. It might as well be activities day at bloody high school because there is so much going on at furry conventions. You might become a little overwhelmed if you go into the like the bigger cons at your first con. I would recommend going to the smaller cons before going to the bigger cons. Kind of obvious <clears throat> because at the smaller cons, there's only a few activities going on, and you're not going to get overwhelmed by probably how many people are there or how much stuff that you got to do. You know, you, you're not going to go bankrupt, because, you know, furries love to spend a lot of money at cons, so one thing is make sure you have enough money to go to cons. You know, I think I can't drill that into people's heads enough. I know I don't have any money because I'm a broadcast bitch, but I'm just saying. But anyways, <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of activities to do. There's so much, ranging from little to do and ending at, like, High school activities day because there's so much to do. Um, another thing that goes on at furry conventions is um, dance offs or floor wars, which are kind of kind of the same thing. Now, dance offs are can be two kinds of dance offs. You can have dance offs in fursuit, which is, in my opinion, sometimes kind of funny because hey, it must be fucking hard dancing in a fursuit. And then you have the other one, which is basically da uh, dance offs in general, 
Uh, but it's, I think it's more common that they have the, you know, fursuit dance-offs than they do regular dance-offs. Um, I don't know much about Float Wars, so do feel free to correct me in the comments below. But anyways, um, dance-offs are obviously where, um, you know, select furries will go and, you know, say if they train for a long time, well, you know, show off their moves. And you know, perform for both the audience and a board of judges <clears throat> who obviously judge them on obviously the performance, the accuracy, the choreography, blah 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 blah. And whoever wins, I don't know exactly what they get, but I'm sure they probably get, I don't know, tons of free shit. I don't know. Another great thing that happens at fair conventions is amazing live performances. Now, this can range from anything from live music, like live in house, I don't know, DJs or musicians. Uh, I'm sure if you've heard of Pepe Coyote in there, you're more than educated on that subject. Um, comedy, and all sorts of stuff, like uh, Kage's, I believe it's Kage's Story Hour, you know, like uh, Amphicon. It's amazing. You know, they have a lot of stuff that happens on main stage. Another amazing thing that can happen at uh, fur, fur conventions, one thing that's pretty much guaranteed if you're pretty well known, unlike me, <laughs> is room parties or getting invited to room parties. Now, room parties are, I get, I don't know, like I guess like fraternities or whatever you crazy Americans have. <laughs> Basically, the place where obviously furries who know each other and whatnot and friends go to just do whatever really chilling out eating noms fucking video games just so much different stuff or even I don't know having dance parties I guess if your room's big enough you know there's so much you can do at you know room parties that is a lot different to comic-con but as I say do feel free to correct me because I haven't been to Comic Con, so do feel free to correct me in the comments down below. The last thing, and I think the most awesome thing you can do at cons for basically free, is walking about, meeting new people, going around the con, and socializing. Unless you're an introvert like me. Because if you're going to the big cons, you have a fairly greater chance of making so many new friends at these cons and even if you go to the smaller cons you still have that chance no matter no matter whether it's big or small you will make new friends at fair conventions like trust me or at least trust me as best as you can because I haven't been to a fair convention <laughs> please somebody help me anyways guys that has been fair conventions everything about them and everything in between I do hope you enjoy this video I mean I enjoyed making it and if you do enjoy watching my videos then hey I'd very much appreciate it if you leave a like and if you really do enjoy my videos and want to see even more from myself then hey subscribe today man anyways I hope you have a wonderful day and Divas out.